Well, after both goalkeepers pulled out stellar performances in the first league, today we play the second of our Champions League quarterfinal when we take on Jose Mourinho's Roma at home park. And then we look to make our second FA Cup final in a row as we take on Newcastle United. Episode number 40 of the Wayne Train here on Sean Does FM with Plymouth Argo. I hope you're doing well. And as I said, coming up today, the second leg of our Champions League quarterfinal, where we do take on Roma this time at home park. And off the back of that, another trip to Wembley, where we take on Newcastle United in the semi finals of the FA Cup. So if you're looking forward to those two games coming up in today's episode, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well it is greatly appreciated but in yesterday's episode we played the first leg of this champions league quarterfinal and before then a big at the time top of the table clash in the premier league where we did take on arsenal if you missed that one i'll leave a link to it over in the top right corner since then just played the one game in the premier league it was away at fulham and we did use a get out of jail free card there, it's fair to say. It was a pretty even game this one, but the first goal was scored by Fulham right off back of half time. Some good short passing here, edge of the box, and Harry Wilson puts that one away. The former Liverpool man, and they're 1 0 up for most of this game. We went attacking late in terms of our wing backs. We went wider, and thankfully, it paid off here. 91st minute, Nikola Ilyev, some good control there inside the box, and he puts that one away. And then only a few minutes later, Arias makes his way. Forward down that left hand side, picks out Aliyev and thankfully slots that one away just inside of that far post. The two goals there inside injury time and we pick up a big 2-1 win considering how that game looked like it might go for a fair while. The Wayne Train came off the bench, scored a goal but unfortunately he was offside but those are three massive points considering how that game looked like it might finish for a long time there at Craven Cottage and it does mean we do still have a three point gap on top of the Premier League and with a game in hand on the likes of Liverpool, Arsenal and Chelsea and hopefully we can make our way through to a FA Cup final in our second game of today's episode where we take on Newcastle, a team who did beat us in the first half of the season. We got revenge a couple of episodes ago with a 2-1 win over them at home park. Those guys currently just inside of a European qualifying spot in seventh and have been forcing us of late to be our white uniform even when we are the home team, because their away uniform, of course, is that Saudi Arabian green, the same color as all that free money that they get now. But first up in today's episode, we switch our attention back to the Champions League, first league of the quarterfinals we did play. In today's episode, it was a very entertaining game. Quite fortunate to walk away with a nil or draw. Both teams had some really good chances, in particular, first half for Roma. Tammy Abraham had a penalty saved by Tobias, but even the second half, we had some really good chances that Sevilla saved there for the home team. Quite an even game, so I think a draw was a fair result. Just wasn't expecting it to be nil all when you do look at those stats. But that away from home is not a bad result, seeing as, of course, we have not lost a game in the Champions League at home this season. Actually, haven't lost a game at all in that competition until the first leg of the round of 16 away from home when Inter Milan beat us by two goals to one in Roma, of course, are further down the table in Serie A than them. So hopefully we can pick up a good result here at home park and make our way through to the semis where we will play the winner of that tie between Real Madrid and Man City. The other semi-final already decided that is going to be between Napoli and Barcelona. So we could be running a bit of an Italian gauntlet potentially in the Champions League knockouts this season if we do make our way all the way through to the final. But first up, we need to deal with Roma. Thankfully, no serious injuries to any first team players going in to this next one. Just Mohamed Baloumi, but that's been the story for pretty much all of the season and we'll come back shortly and hopefully get the job done and make our way through to a Champions League semi-final with the second leg against Roma. And here are the team sheets for this big clash at home park in terms of us compared to our usual first choice 11, Bischoff in the DLP and also Aaron Kunder out left 
over. So Rowie, both those players not on a heavy workload compared to the ones who were in the yesterday and Alex Scott as well as that DLP. Hopefully that does mean might just be a bit fresher in terms of our squad and put out a better performance in terms of Roma, the same formation and did look like very similar personnel and hopefully we can pick up a win here at Home Park and go through to the final four. And it's only taken a couple of minutes here for the first highlight. Might be in our favour, a corner here, which Erin Kunda will float towards the far post, cleared away, but thankfully Corolla can tidy that one up for us. And we keep the ball here on the edge of the box. Simon Som, he has it, unfortunately. Bit of a loose touch there, though. And so Buchan does get that one back for the away team. They try and make their way here out from the back. Bove plays that one back to Erdich, I believe that is. Now Abraham running backwards. Trying to press them here in the Wayne train. Does a brilliant job. Plays it forward to Nikola Ilyev. He scores his 28th goal this season. And that was completely done by the work of the Wayne train. Great press there from him. And I think he's completely grabbed that goal on his own. Albeit did have some help from his teammates prior. But still, it's really good pressure from us there. At the back, the Wayne train with a big interception. Picks up an assist. That is a great start. Slots away Nikola Ilyev. And we take an early 1-0 lead. And off the back of that hot start, we look to continue the pressure here with another corner on that same side as before. Aaron Kunda floats this one again towards the far post. Villa doesn't get in there now. For some reason, Parola takes his time, but thankfully does beat the defender there at that far post. Somehow gets that from a tight angle in the back of net. And this is a brilliant start. Two highlights, two goals, and 2-0 up here in the second leg off the back of a goalless first one. Bit of an interesting option there from Parola to take his time on the ball, but thankfully did slot that one away. And that's a great start. 2-0 up just shy of the 20-minute mark. And hopefully we can continue this hot start here as there's a highlight just shy of the half-hour mark as it is Roma looking to play their way out from back earlier. Did a great job through the Wayne train to rob the ball from them, but this time they do make their way into our half, but potentially a first time in this game. We'll be at Bischoff there with a good interception. Now Aaron Kunda all over the top. It's misread there by Akoli. Slots away Ilyev for his second goal today. Roma are having an absolute shocker. Jose might not be the special one. We are freshing him 3 0 here at home park, and it's not even at the half hour mark. Hopefully, we're now going to make our way through to the semis against one of Real Madrid or Man City. That will be a lot tougher come the early stages of next week, but a brilliant start. Ilyev now has a double as we make it 3 0. And just about to make our way now into half time in this first half, three highlights so far, four free goals. So very happy with how this is going. It does mean we can take off some players at half time who might need a rest. And thankfully that's the case, because as you can see down the bottom, a couple of players have picked up just slight niggles in Diamonde and Samadzic during that first half. So Graves can come on for Diamonde, also Morgan Whitaker outright. And it might not be the worst idea here as well to potentially take off Irin Kunda who's on a little bit of a deep yellow heart. He can be a player who, when he plays a bit, does get quite injury prone. We might save him up for that FA Cup semi thing, as this one does look like. It might be in the bag already, touch wood, but Farias can come on for him, but that was a superb first half. Should be going through to the semis, as long as we can hold on to this 3-0 lead. Albeit a very early highlight here in the second half, and is Roma, who are on the ball. No doubt Jose would have given them a rev up here at half time. A good foot in there from both Soma and then Bischoff, but unfortunately, we can't quite win the ball, and Roma are still on the attack. Pellegrini, good slide tackle there from Farias, but somehow it falls to Tammy Abraham. He finally scores a goal in this tie. Of course, that penalty yesterday did get saved in the first half. That could have been a massive turning point and got Roma on the front foot, but that feels like a bit of a harsh goal to concede, albeit we're still up by two goals. Don't need to panic too much, I think, but Roma might have found a way Back into this one to be fair, good strike from Abraham from just outside the box, and they make it 3 1. We'll praise the guys, try and keep them happy. And there's a highlight shortly off the back of that goal that they did score. Chance there for the Wayne train, and that time forces a good save out of Villa. Very similar to the saves that he was pulling out in that first leg in yesterday's episode, but a chance for us now from a set piece Bischoff on these these days. But unfortunately, can't do anything from that one. Farius out to Bischoff. That highlight ends. Still 3 1 up only a few minutes in to the second half, but now it's a corner here in our favour. Lots of those in the first half, and Parola will grab a double this time through his head. That one floated to the far post. And while I remember, Simon Som is on a yellow card in the Champions League. 4 1 up will take him off so he's able to feature in that semi final against Real Madrid or Man City. And Randall can come off him just to make sure 
he will be available, but that is a brilliant response only a few minutes after Roma grabbed a goal back, we make it 4-1, and Parola, as well as Ilyev, now on a hat-trick. And just show the arm mark, yet again we're on the attack here with a throw near enough to inside of the final third, good areas we will find Ilyev, he gets brought down there inside the box, but to be fair, they did win the ball, but then it's fizzed in there by Gutierrez, and the Wayne train has a goal in the Champions League knockouts, very close to save complete now, I think it's fair to say the Wayne train performing very well here in a Champions League quarter final, that big assist for that first goal, and now he scores one here, good areas, I think he was looking for Farias, but thankfully it found its way through the Wayne train, fizzes that one into the bottom right corner, Safe as houses now, 5-1 up at the hour mark. And we're just about to make our way into the last 15 minutes of this game, so it might be time for us here to make our final substitution. No players yet, down to Red Hush, just thinking who we might need for that second game today against Newcastle United. And I think it's the Wayne train. He was superb today in assist and a goal, but Pizarro can come on late for him to make sure he can play a major part in that FA Cup semi, but still up 5-1 as we enter the last 10 minutes, and in fact there is a highlight here, which is a throw in our favour, Gutierrez puts that one into the mixer, and we are on the attack, just knocking the ball about here on the right hand side of the box, Serginho Dest on a yellow card, floats this one far post, again looking to make the most of an aerial advantage, but thankfully keep the ball now, Bischoff finds Pizarro there, good shot, but unfortunately does get blocked, and Roma might get a chance here on the counter attack, albeit good put in that time from Bischoff, there might be a chance for us there to get back on the attack. Unfortunately, not the case. We'll just get these players on yellow cards to ease off tackles just to make sure they won't be suspended and we won't get any silly red cards late in this one, which might impact things for the semis. We'll just change their Randall to a DM instead of a ball winning midfielder to make sure that we can do that. And one more highlight in this game, and we are on the attack. Randall plays that one over. Looking for Gutierrez. Can't quite find, but thankfully Roma's clearance not too great, and a chance for us yet again to build one more attack, but it's a superb performance here at home park, 5-1 ahead against Roma, float that one into the mix of Pizarro's header, comes off the post, it falls very kindly though to Morgan Whitaker, who I think has scored his fifth goal this season, just going to see here if he was offside, but the assistant referee has not put his flag up, the players put their arms in the air, those are the telltale signs. The goal will be awarded and we make it 6-1. And it's embarrassment here at home park for Jose Mourinho Pizarro. Interesting angle. It's an angle he does take on quite a bit with his headers. But thankfully, the ball falls to Whitaker. He puts it away and makes it 6-1. And that is well and truly a thumping here at home park. Roma really made an advantage coming into the second league. Couldn't take it with that penalty in particular. In the first league, as I said, we actually had some chances as well away from home in yesterday's episode, but both goalkeepers performed well this time. I think Villa a bit below his best, and we were superb, including the Wayne Train, a goal and an assist. Also, Iliad and Parola, they picked up doubles, but that is a massive win, 6-1, and we'll make our way through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. And as it turns out, as we make our way through the post-match interview, it will be an all-English affair, and to be fair, I don't mind that. Manchester City, they're a team who have been a little bit up and down so far this season, and I think we can take them and just knock them out of the FA Cup in the quarterfinals. That's not too bad a draw, I think, especially if they still have some injuries to some of their key players like John Stones and Edison. That's not a bad draw, potentially. Hopefully, we can take that out next week, but we'll come back shortly and get stuck in to the FA Cup semi. And in fact, before we do that, just a quick check-in in here on some injuries off the back of that 6-1-1 absolute spanking there of Roma. Both Samajic and Diamonde did come off at half-time. Hopefully, these won't be too serious. They were orange injuries. Samajic sprained wrist ligaments. He can play through that injury, and to be fair, even then it would only keep him out for 12 days to two weeks. Hopefully, that will be all sorted out by the time that we do play that semi against Man City. So we'll get him to play through that injury. Might mean he'll be available for that semi in the FA Cup, and Diamonde, that's a minor one, hopefully he'll be available as well, albeit that might be a tight call as this next game is in only three days, we'll get him on general rehab, so a couple of little injuries there, but thankfully nothing too serious, and hopefully we can make our way through to our second straight FA Cup final when we take on Newcastle United. And here are the team sheets for this FA Cup semi-final, we are the home team, but playing in white, because Newcastle reasons, but two changes to our usual best 11. Mosquera right back, because Dest 
quite injury prone when on a heavy workload. Want to make sure that's all sorted out. And also we have got Graves in the ball playing defender role, as mentioned before. Unfortunately, Diamonde not quite fully on a green hat off the back of that Bruce Shin from that Champions League quarterfinal. So he will take his place for this one. Thankfully, Samajic can play a role in this game. Hopefully that won't be too serious off the back of this, albeit next game for us is in the Premier League against the West Ham team, who at the moment are trying to keep hold of Wayne Rooney because he wants the Man United job because Eric Ten Hag did get the sack. We'll be interested to see who ends up in charge there at Old Trafford. But good early chance there, and it does fall to Samadzic, but unfortunately, he just skies that shot with an encouraging start. It's still nil all, though, at Wembley. And about halfway through the first half so far, all the action has been in our favour stats-wise, but there is a highlight here, a corner to Newcastle United. Gamares will get a shot off there, but thankfully someone gets a block and albeit Rodriguez will retreat and get that one back for the away team, albeit this game is at Wembley, but still feels a little bit weird that they can wear green and we're forced into our white, but good through ball there. And then in Nesli will square that one for Alexander Isaac, and that's a pretty soft goal to concede. It did look like it came down our right-hand side with those new players coming to the team for this one in Mosquera and Graves. That might be a slight issue. But Botman, nice through ball there. Unfortunately, no one picking up in Nizri and Isaac with a good finish. Nothing Tobias can do to stop that one. And with their first real attack of the game, we go 1-0 down. And only a few minutes shy of half time. Hopefully a chance for us here to try and grab a goal back before we do head into the sheds. Erin Kunda, nice ball there. Far post looking for Samajic. And that one comes off the post. And Karius, of all people, actually makes a save. That one probably one of the better saves of his career. But good chance for us there, unfortunately. The world work does come to the rescue of Newcastle United, and we are 1 0 down at half time. Just looking here, Simon Som is on a yellow card. Also, Samadzic, who might take him off, seeing as he was dropping down towards the red heart late in that first half. So, Whitaker will come off him, and also Randall for the yellow carded Som. But I think that's all we need to do going into the second half, to be fair. Actually, playing quite well. Hopefully, we can score at least one goal and make sure this one goes to extra time. Otherwise, we'll be knocked out of the FA Cup as we 1-0 behind. And about 10 minutes into the second half, first highlight here, and we are on the attack looking for a goal to make this 1-1. One, one. All a nice ball there for Randall. Thankfully, just found its way to him now. Mosquera will pick out Whitaker just on the edge of the box. Mosquera floats this one for Aaron Kunda. Yet again, we get a header off, but unfortunately, that one just off target, and we still trail by a goal. And in fact, very short the back of that chance to Aaron Kunda. Now, a couple of players are down to Red Hearts. We'll make some subs. Scott will come on for Bischoff and also Aaron Kunda to be replaced by Farias. And to be fair, the Wayne train not doing too well today off that great performance against Inter Milan. Pizarro can come on for him as we go searching for that equaliser. And unfortunately, just about to make our way into the last 15 minutes of this game, those changes haven't done too much. And now we're going to put our wing backs onto attack once we can actually click on the right player and also just go a little bit wider in terms of our attack as well. We need to go for this. Otherwise, no quadruple for us this season. Of course, that is still alive off the back of going through the semis of the Champions League. But we'll try and go fully attacking for these last 15 minutes and see if that will get us to score a goal. So far, still feels like we're the team on the front foot in this one. But unfortunately, that one chance that we did see to Newcastle United, and they did take it, albeit another one here, but thankfully that shot from Correa is pretty weak. Still 1-0, albeit highlight off the back of that. They're on the attack again, but good to tackle there from Graves on Schlucko, and we get the ball and try and get something going down this left-hand side in good areas. Starts to bomb forward, as you would expect, from a complete wing back on attack. Just held up there briefly, but Scott now finds Safarius. Good little ball roll there. Does get in behind, puts this far post for Pizarro off of the bench. Our pressing force today are doing a great job, and he grabs an equaliser with only six minutes left. Now, usually, I'll be tempted to go back to putting our wing backs on support, but I really don't want this game to go to extra time considering all the competitions we're still alive in. Still in a bit of a fight for that Premier League title. That is still a close race, so I think we're going to try and go for the jugular here inside of these last six minutes, but that is a big goal. Gives us a hope of potentially going through to another FA Cup final, making our way now into three minutes of added time. And Bruno Gamalia is here with a free kick in a dangerous spot. We'll see if he goes looking for top left corner. He goes looking for top right, but thankfully Tobias there is pretty much straight at him. He can make a decent save, but this highlight does continue. Will it be in our favour? He pumps this one somewhat deep, albeit that's actually a really good ball out there to Mosquera. This might be a chance for us to do something on the counter-attack. Looks for Ilyeva. It gets flicked out, but to Farias, he plays that one back 
to Alex Scott Farias in there. Eliev gets bought down and it falls to Pizarro, very similar to the goal the Wayne Train scored against Roma, but that is a huge double late on from Pizarro off of the bench and off the back of that. We'll put some of these players on some more negative duties in terms of our wing backs, our wingers, also the pressing forward as well as the deep line playmaker. And we'll tell our guys to time waste and also go back to a mid block, tell the goalkeeper to slow the pace down as well, just start time wasting and lowering that tempo, as well as be more disciplined. And hopefully, that is the goal there from Pizarro. A quick fire double inside the last couple of minutes. We're off the back of us going to those wing backs on attack. It worked against Fulham, and it looks like it might work again here against Newcastle. But that is a big double furious here. This is this ball into the mixer after he gets it back from Scott. Ilyev gets pushed in the back there from Livramento. Somehow, not a penalty, but thankfully didn't matter because Pizarro tucked that one away in the right corner and only three minutes of at a time. And thankfully, looks like that's all there is going to be. And we get out of jail there a little bit like we did against Fulham and make our way through to a second straight FA Cup final. Hopefully this time we can get the job done, unlike last season. And we are definitely now on for, at the very least, a domestic treble here at Plymouth Argyle off the back of that late. Come from behind, 2-1 win over Newcastle United. So we just do enough there to make our way through to yet another FA Cup final. Very similar in terms of the changes that we made working like they did in that Fulham game that we played before today's episode. And we now set up an FA Cup final, a rematch from last season, and also between two teams currently in a bit of a fight for the Premier League title. We will take on Arsenal. Hopefully this time we can get the better of them and pick up the FA Cup after they denied us last season. That could be a very big game at some stage next week. Now, it does at the very least look like we might be on potentially for a domestic treble, of course, still on top of the Premier League, albeit we're going to take on the likes of Man City, Liverpool, and Aston Villa. In our last couple of games, I do think ours is the toughest run home. Also, Chelsea now in that fight, but to be fair, we've got two games in hand on Chelsea and Liverpool. That is good because Chelsea have snuck up the table above Liverpool off the back of those guys dropping points to a all teams Brighton at Anfield. So that was a little bit surprising, but it does mean we've got a little bit of wiggle room now. If we do drop points, we could still pick up the Premier League title, but that will do it for today's episode. A very good one, fresh Roma in that second leg of the Champions League quarterfinals, which does set up a semi against Manchester City. And off the back of that, we made our way through to an FA Cup final, which will be a rematch from last season against Arsenal. If you enjoyed today's episode, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well. We'll come back next week and finish off this season. I do think now this is definitely the last season of the save. No chance I'm going to get a fifth one in before Christmas comes around. I might actually do a sim forward instead just to see how the Wayne train does get on once we finish this season as well as some other players like Nestor Erin Kunda, who's done a pretty good job actually since we've been giving him some regular minutes in the first team at Plymouth Argyle and also seeing how that new gen from yesterday and Luke Jones gets on as well. But we'll come back at the start of next week in the not too distant future because at this point most of our games they do matter we'll skip over west ham away from home wayne rooney is still their manager because the guy who got the manchester united job was actually once we find manchester united the former bournemouth manager in lionel scaloni so that's an interesting appointment bournemouth now looking for a new manager after he replaced eric ten hag will come back start of next week skip over west ham Big game at Anfield as we take on Liverpool in the Premier League. Even a draw from that game would not be too bad of a result. And then we'll play the first leg of our Champions League semi-final at the Etihad against Manchester City. That's a venue we won at earlier in the season in the FA Cup quarterfinal just up there, as you can see, which did include a goal to the Wayne train from the penalty spots. We know that we can win there. Hopefully, we can do the same again and put ourselves into a good position before the second leg at home park where we can hopefully do something similar to what we did to Roma in today's episode. But we'll come back today of next week to massive games, Liverpool in the Prem and City in the Champions League semis, both away from home. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on, and I'll see you then. Cheers.